I was playing about a couple of these little uh, E27 splitters that you can buy on eBay, and the idea is that you put it into an existing E27 lamp holder and then you can plug two lamps and it just gives you a bit more brightness. Or let's you choose maybe a decorative projecting lamp and another ambient room lamp, but they're quite nice. And they're just, I think they're about a pound each, which is probably about a dollar fifty or something like that. But then uh, I thought, what happens if you screw them together? Do they screw together well? They kind of screw together well. Uh, you have to be careful not to screw them together too tightly, because if you do, uh, on some of them the plastic starts sort of parting with the force of the springiness. And it's notable that if you do want to put quite a few together, um, the you can actually, if you try swapping them about, you'll find that some of the cap put on in a slightly different position, so some are very good at just lining up at perfect sort of right angle without uh, splitting it apart like that. But anyway, I, have a, I stuck a few of them together and thought, how many can you actually put together? And I ordered 15 off eBay, and I, I made this today. And it's absolutely massive, and it all works. As you'll, uh, hold on, I really have to prove it works now. I'm gonna... So let's get a, I shall plug it into my pink, the pink Mageddon uh, tester here. Oh, this is gonna swamp the camera out big time, isn't it? Yes, it is. And you can also see which of the lamps are flickeriest, yet some of these little golf ball lamps are very flickery. Others aren't so flickery, but you can see this is just one huge illuminated monstrosity. Uh, I was going to say, I don't know how much power it takes. I guess we should plug it into the power meter. So this old thing takes 13 watts. Just 13 watts. How many lamps does it have? It's got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 lamps. Uh, these ones draw about 2 watts, the ones with filaments, they're putting out the, well, the, the LED filaments, they're putting out most of the light. These ones are typically rated about half a watt, and uh, I'm not even sure what this strange one's rated at. I was just, uh, I was ended up hunting around for lamps that I could actually put into it. Uh, so, yes, that is a super low and decorative blue collar trash chandelier. So, thing is worthy of note. Let's unscrew this socket. If you start with uh, the one and then you put it in at right angles and then you put them in at right angles by just nudging it backwards and forwards a bit, yeah, they actually have enough spacing that they can be made to stay clear of each other and you can fit the lamps in. I wouldn't recommend using this with tungsten lamps because the heat would be absolutely horrendous. It would probably end up melting something. Particularly if you put a 100 watt lamp in each, so that would be a 1.6 kilowatt light. That would melt probably. But uh, these LED ones, particularly the wee globes like these, are ideal. Um, and the ideal room fixture would be just a load of random little globes, but with some proper beefy LED lamps to provide the, you know, the actual light. Uh, this, this isn't even fitting under the camera, is it? That's ridiculous. But uh, I'll show you this uh, lit and up at the ceiling. But uh, yeah, I just, you know, it's a spontaneous thing and I actually really like it. Yeah, just as I say, when you're screwing them in, watch you don't screw them into the too tightly, other, otherwise they, they don't split, but they actually, because they're held together with a screw, they start pulling apart. Um, and if you, fi you find that it does that one, you can try it in another, and they, they often just slightly different tolerance and uh, different sort of thread positions. But uh, yeah, I'll show you this lit uh, panning around it. And here it is on the ceiling, lit up. And I have to say, I really like this. It's swamping the camera a bit just because it is a source of light, but I like the whole three-dimensional spatial effect and, you know, it's very cheap and easy to put together because the lamps are cheap from eBay, the LED lamps and the holders too. So yeah, that's, that's really nice. I do like that.